Hey everybody, this uh, episode of TJ's Garage. We got a really unique situation here. Uh, we're in Florida. If you look around here, um, this is our house. Okay, it's um, it's technically because it has axles. It's considered a mobile home, even though it's not movable. So what we did was our water heater went bad, so we decided to put. A water heater from Home Depot in which is for household okay household and mobile home construction is a little different as far as electrical so we come over here and what's been happening is we have this breaker that's been popping okay it's got two twenties for the water heater which means it's a 220 line these two are for the electric range these two have been popping and we couldn't figure out why ever since we put it in. It was intermittent. So what happened was, we came out here to our water heater, and because it is a mobile home, they either put them outdoors or in your closet, which isn't very genius. So come over here, and this is where my Home Depot water heater went in. Okay, if you could see it right there. It's working great. Everything's fine. Problem is the circuit breaker. Well, what was happening is this water heater was draw, drawing 5,500 watts of power to heat the water. When my breaker that was 20 amps is only rated for 3,500 watts. So your option is take the water heater out and get a mobile home one, which will draw 3,500 watts. So you don't keep popping the breaker or you remove the heating element. This is the 5,500 watt one, and this is the calcium deposits from two years of being used with Florida water. Now that's not why it was popping. It was popping because it was drawing 5,500 watts. So we stepped this down to a 3,500 watt heating element, which goes right in here behind this panel, okay? Everything is still 220, but it's just drawing lower wattage. So this is 55. We dropped it down to 35, which is technically just one single element. And now our breaker is not popping. Our water isn't heating up as fast. So it's not a huge quick recovery, but we're not popping circuit breakers and we don't have to remove the tank. I didn't know this when I put it in. I thought, hey, Bigger's got to be better, but wattage and voltage is different in a mobile home than it is a normal house. Okay, so it's something to think about. If you ever have this unique problem and you're in a mobile home and you try to go to Home Depot, well, this is the reason. This is still full size like our water heater was. The problem was the wattage draw was too high and it was popping our breaker. All we did was step this down. It's 15 bucks for a new one. They had them at Home Depot. It's pretty much universal. It covers at least 20 different water heater brands. Popped it in, runs fine. Like I said, water is not gonna heat up as fast, but we don't, we're not really worried about that as long as you don't have to replace the $900 water heater. $15 fix, you're done. That's it, thank you.